everyone welcome back to my channel casualistic and hello to my new subscribers who i'm presuming came over from amy's channel so hi if you're new thank you for joining me i hope you'll stick with me and in, i hope you enjoy my channel um so today it's something a little bit different um i have two pen pals who um i met through facebook um we've never actually met in person and um basically uh it just happened to be that they are both crocheters and so obviously we've been able to we actually physically write to each other we do it the old-fashioned way we don't use email or stuff we are all on obviously online but um we're actually handwrite letters it's kind of nice to go back to how it was like 20 odd years ago <laughs> showing my age Anyway, so one of my pen pals is 40 in November. Um, so I was trying to think of a, an appropriate present. Um, I probably am going to get her a ball of yarn or something to go with this. But um, I wanted to actually make her something. Because obviously being such an important birthday. Um, so I have made... Ta-da! And I bet you're all going, why on earth has she made her a VW camper van? Well, the reason is, is that I've uh, done a 40 as the number plate on the back. Um, the reason is, is that she would like to have a VW camper van one day. She's not been able to afford it. Um, so I thought this would be, and I know she's got some VW cushions, so I thought that would be kind of cute in with her little display. Um, so yeah, so this is the first time I've actually made anything like this. I have done... Um, other toys and stuff in the past but they've been more sort of um things like owls um teddy kind of you know the usual sort of aragami stuff so this was something a little bit different um i do apologize if you can hear the noise in the background my friend's watching a film in the other room so i'm sorry if the camera's picking up i'm not sure if it is or not but i'm sorry if it is <laughs> um so I've done blue because I know she likes the colour blue. Um, not the best pattern in the world, but we shall go into that now. So the pattern is uh, called Volkswagen Van by Wilma. Um, when you, it is on Ravelry. It is a free pattern. So I'm not giving any. It's just like the basic essentials, and it does say there. If it will focus. Focus, please focus. Well, anyway, not going to focus. Good old cameras, they never focus when you want them to. Um, it is called Vol Volkswagen by Vilma. Anyway, I will put the link uh, for, for the Ravelry um, in the description box. Um, yeah, wouldn't do the pattern again. And you'll bet you're wondering why, because. It looks like a camper van, or reasonably so. Um, basically, I'm trying to do it politely because I don't like slagging people off. But whoever wrote this pattern, it was originally the pattern, to be fair to the person that wrote the pattern, um, when I downloaded it, it was actually in a foreign language. Um, I can't remember which language it was now. And... It, and um, you could get the translation so whether the numbers have been lost in translation I don't know could be the reason however um, in some places it would say uh, single crochet this is it's in American terms by the way um, for those if you, for, my, for my friends in the UK um, it's in single crochet so it's UK double crochet um, all the stitches are all in that stitch um but it would say single crochet 14 and then your stitch count at the end would be 18 so what am i supposed to do for the other four stitches so a lot of it i had to kind of fudge it and work it out myself so and there was quite a few places in the pattern where that happened so that was the downside to the pattern but i still managed to get the result what i would say if you're a beginner don't try this if you're an intermediate you you might be able to do it so um it just if you're 
if you've got a reasonable grasp of maths and you know can figure things out um yeah so the only thing i'm really not happy with is i had to stitch the vw i don't even know if you can it's not going to come up i just blocked my face out so it, um try and focus it a bit better there we go um that's supposed to say vw on the front um i did it with the same color as the windows because um that's what the pattern showed um they had a slightly darker yarn um if I did it again I would have done a darker yarn for that but that's the only difference anyway so the pattern actually called for a two and a half millimeter hook but I used a three millimeter hook the yarns I used are all mariner double knit um so it's a pound a ball in the UK I don't know what it works out to as America but because if I don't know what the exchange rate is at the moment but um, in UK it is poundable so I wouldn't imagine it was too much difference in, in America so um, the blue colour I used at the bottom of the van is this one and it is shade CO24 Sax this is one of my older ones if you remember in previous videos I have mentioned that their colour codes and stuff have been changing so this is an older one but I think they still do Sax as far as I'm aware um, the windows and the VW sign this is one of the newer ones and it's shade 035 and it's called oatmeal oh a bit shaky my hands are a bit shaky today I don't know why um, the front headlights again mariner double net shade C-003 in lemon Uh, again that's one of the older colours um, I didn't obviously use all this this is the end of a ball that I used for Jimbo's blanket which uh, those of you who have been with me for a while will remember I showed in a previous video but this is shade C032 and it is red there we go and obviously they were for the back uh, back lights the main body um, is shade 040 it doesn't actually say white but it is white this is one of the newer let me look at the state of that i've got to sort that out um it is one of the newer newer balls i am finding that the newer balls aren't as soft some of them as the older ones so i don't know what they're doing different there's quite a marked difference and for the wheels um obviously I use the mariner white um but for the black i have got mariner black but it, this was just closer to hand because I was being a bit lazy so um it's a signet yarn double knit uh it is 100% acrylic same as uh obviously the the mariner double knit um and it's shade 217 black I actually got this from a local uh charity shop I think most people are sort of fairly fairly aware of signet I do believe um, and that's what I did the tyres with. So, uh, lots of stitching, obviously, and stuffing. Um, it's held up pretty well. The wheels were very, very difficult to put on, and there wasn't really any instructions how to sew them on, but I've managed to do it. Um, it's gone a bit of a weird shape, sort of outwards, but on the whole, from the front, it does look like a VW camper van. And that's the back like I said I've put 40 on the back just so she knows that that was what that was for um so that's it for today um I'm going to record another video today um to do with woolly hugs and uh the refugee uh, hats for refugees and the knitted the last pink knitted scarf that I finished as well that was in a previous video um so that will be coming up next uh I've, I'm playing catch up on my videos a little bit I've, you will have already seen them by the time you've seen this but there's there's a yarn haul that I'm waiting to upload <laughs> it's, all, it's trying to find the time to get them uploaded so um, I'm kind of recording ahead of time because I need to post both the refugee stuff off this week and uh, obviously the camper van for my birthday so I've got deadlines that I have to meet so I'm trying to record so that I can still share it with you guys so um hope you forgive me um we'll try and get back in a normal pattern so <laughs> hopefully next week we'll be back to normal <laughs> uh 
um, anyway so that's it for this video um, hope you're all well and doing well um, I've been busy shelling fresh walnuts with a neighbour this, this afternoon so <laughs> hence my hair's all a bit of a mess and yeah I just I thought you guys wouldn't care and hopefully you'll love me anyway so um, yeah so I'm waffling I hope you're all okay and um, sending lots of love to you all um, you know and I Amy I hope if you're watching I hope you're feeling much better soon um, she's got an injury to her wrist and isn't able to knit which would drive me insane so I know she's um, struggling a bit so Amy I hope you feel better soon um, and obviously hi to everybody else and hope you're all doing well and I'm starting to repeat myself so I think I'm going to finish here <laughs> I'm a little tired, forgive me. Um, yeah, so until next time, stay well, happy crafting, and remember to stay true to yourself. Bye.